Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Augusto the Dog Daddy and today I have an exciting video for you guys that I know you guys are going to love. You guys are always asking me for my training videos and today I'm going to meet a new client. I have never met them before. This is a seven year old dog with some aggression towards other dogs and the owner have already tried at least three different trainers with no luck to help this dog with his behavior and I'm going to go into it without knowing what I'm getting into because I have never met them but we're hoping that I can deliver some results. Everything you see in this video was filmed in one training session. Um, okay, let's go. Let's see what I can do. How do I start the motorcycle? <laughs> Alright, so this is Zach and he's seven, right? He's seven. seven so you do what? Seven years old and he had had him since he was a baby? Yeah. What's going on? He was, like the, his behavior, he was a kind of like a very different than other dogs I had before. But uh, his behavior completely changed after his older brother died. Became very like, he has separation anxiety. Very, very, extremely aggressive than other dogs. And especially if he's, if he's with me. Not as much as when he's with me, Jay, but with me like aggressive, like it doesn't matter. As bigger the dog, more aggressive he becomes. That becomes really embarrassing. Like it's just like people avoid us when they see us outside. They run away because they know that's a task. And he barks like no tomorrow. He wants to just get out of the leash and go straight to attack the dog. Has he ever like got close to another dog? But in the elevator when open the door, the, the dog is waiting. He's straight to attack, and then you need to hold him. By the way, he bites me to get close to go fight. Yeah, because you get to in that moment right there where they don't really see what's going on you know they're just so focused on what's ahead of them and it's very intense but when they're being aggressive with another dog it doesn't even mean he dogs tend to do this they'll reach back towards whatever is holding them they touch them because they don't even realize anything else other than what they see and yeah. they're really angry they're in that state of mind that they feel like they have to be that aggressive you know yeah. um now i know so he, he is a dog now I can tell you, I mean, you see the, the breathing mm -hmm. gets very intense, so I can see he gets really worked up. Now, have, what have you tried so far to try to help him? Uh, I had tried three trainers, uh, unsuccessful. Uh, you know, they came in, and, you know, they charge, they give you a couple of tips, they say you just put it on the work. The lady said that and he was actually supposed to be there for a whole week for training. Yeah. Yes, but the lady said that he became, he, she never saw anything like that, but he became the leader of the other dogs. So his personality is yeah. too strong. He's not comfortable. He's like stubborn, him. very yeah. stubborn, yeah. And so, what are some of the methods that the trainers tried with him so far? Uh, what they tried was like walking him in the places that he usually walk. Uh, usually the time that you have other dogs around and that situation like you have to find a way to have it fits on you you have to call his attention you just cross the street you don't get the dog too close but you know it's just like it kind of like in theory it's very easy yeah. but even the train was like to me and see that was not happening just she just tell me you need to keep trying 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 so never really not even like even when the trainer was around there was no progress sometimes you see progress with the training but then you know which is normal because the owners have to keep up with it but if you don't see any progress at all when the train is there then the method is not being effective Co correct huh? i mean the, the progress that i saw like he was behaving and listening to me up to a dog shows up so yeah. the obedience was there but just not not the, the actual problem that That's they're trying correct. to solve without yes. the dog got it Okay, well, we're gonna bring a dog out and see how he reacts and we're okay. gonna get started.
Alright, walk the way. But he's actually doing really good. He's curious about her. 
So we want to see what he does. Good boy. So see, then he walks by. Good boy. And he's warming up to the fact that she is here. Good. So see, he needs to have this type of experience of you know the other dogs are okay. And that's what I cannot believe that he hasn't had because he's actually very easy. You know, I work with dogs that would actually be challenging me. They would be like really like a lot difficult. Uh, and that's what I'm telling. Like he's actually very easy, but he's very confused. So everything that I see is that he is doing what he's doing because he doesn't know anything besides that. And as you saw, it doesn't take much. I didn't, you know, I mean, I could probably even have done it with the harness on him. But this just makes it a little bit easier. But I'm not using anything like, you know, super special to train him. So see how he tries to avoid her, which is okay for now because this is. Oh, but, see, but at the same time, he's curious. So this is all really good. So this is good. And he, you know, whenever he's trying to engage, it's a really good thing. I'm just gonna watch his. Uh, and that's what I'm saying, like she wants to play and he's actually doing he's really good for that. And he's relaxed, he's not tense anymore. Now he just kind of like wanted to be next to her. Good boy. That's a good boy. See how he almost like rushes out and then he looks, he doesn't want to give he doesn't want to give his back because he's a little bit uncomfortable. But you know, you know, you have to see like it which is normal because he hasn't been around other dogs. Um but at the same time, he's curious about her. He's willing to, to check it out. Come. Boy. See, I'm gonna watch to see it. Good boy. So he needs to have this type of experience. We're gonna, I wanna put him you know, around all the dogs to see how he's gonna do with more dogs. And this is good, and he needs to learn. Cause he, see how when she goes to smell him, he's unsure about what's gonna happen? Hey, plus. But each time he has a good experience, it makes it better for him for the next time. It prepares him. Cause see, like if she was off leash, she's gonna be trying to play with him, and and he's interested. He's just unsure. This is why I have to be ready. If he barks, I correct him, and then I bring him right back to it. Cause it's like basically re-socializing him. You know. Good. See. Hey. No. And all that that is is because he's unsure about what she's gonna do. When they lack the experience of meeting other dogs, and you know, and he hasn't done in a long time, so that's why. Come. But even you know, also when he barks, like I said, he's more of just noise than anything else. He's not really. Um, bad with other dogs. You know, he has a stronger personality, but it's because he's been getting away with it. He, he really isn't like a, uh, he's not a challenging dog. You know, he's not really trying to like, uh, to do that. He's not eating him, but it's because he's been getting away with it. So he tries and he's been succeeding. So that's all he knows. Good boy, come in. Good. I am shocked, Augusto. I'm telling you, I never, nobody was having a to do this. I mean, the, the, you're here with us for 15 minutes only. This is crazy. <laughs> I mean, the craziest part to me is that I feel like this is something that any trainer should be able to do. It's, you know, this is one of the yeah. easy ones. I'm always looking for ones that are more challenging. Yeah. Because, but I want to see one with pets. Like, now, another scenario is if another dog is barking at him, it's going to be a little bit harder. And also because of course I should have to train you to do what I'm doing. Probably. Because if I just leave and then you hold the end of the leash and you don't do anything, he's gonna go back to doing the same thing. Because you gotta break the habit. Right now he's you know being practicing this every day. So now every time you see a dog, the moment you see a dog, he starts to get worked up. You're gonna see his you know his body is like very intense. The breathing gets heavy, but so kind of doing this before he barks. Yeah. You wanna immediately go there, do that little correction. It, and there's the touch that he can do, it's like two fingers, you go here, see so when I do that tap, he just kind of really gets his attention. It's gentle, but it's just quick, so it surprises him. And then you go with your your attitude, you know, just towards him, no, leave it, every time he sees a dog. And yeah. then if you need to repeat that, he repeats that, until he gives you this calmness, and then you just continue to walk. 
He said he could not fix it. Within 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, you know, like I, I want to tell people, there's a lot of good trainers for the obedience part. You know, maybe it's just like, you know, anyone can teach obedience. Like if you really want it, it's something that you like to do and you get a little bit of practice, anyone can do it. But when there's, every dog is different. So when you put these dogs that are a little bit more challenging, like they have something beyond just a dog that wants to treat and doesn't bark at anything, doesn't have any, any issues going on with them. Um, which most dogs is true. Most dogs have something, you know, whether they're too excitable or they're a little bit shy or a little bit dominant. Most dogs are gonna have something, and you know that's the reality of it. It's just uh, when it comes down to really helping, like with me, I, I expect anyone to be able to call me and I can help them. You know, that's why I mean sometimes I travel out of state and I never match the dog before. I wouldn't be able to do that if I go there and I'm not able to help them. Imagine me showing up. You know, for the weekend, and then I cannot produce results. I mean, it'd be embarrassing. So, there's a there's it's a market for a lot of different trainers. I feel like, but the reality is, even them, even the trainers have to be a little bit more educated on how to help different dogs. Because this is a very easy dog. This is not a difficult dog. This is like, you know, it's it's like nothing. But that's not the question. It's easy because you know what you are doing, or because so I want to correct him one time. You know, well, you know, the funny thing I told him, I said, You have no idea. I found this trainer, I've been watching his videos. Good. It Good. seems Good. that he is amazing, man. And uh, I'm gonna try to have a hold of him. And I was trying for a while, remember? Yeah, yeah. And then finally, we were able to, to talk to each other. And then I told him, He's coming. And he said, Oh, he's gonna destroy this trainer. <laughs> I, said, I said, He's gonna train the trainer, he's gonna make the trainer sit. <laughs> Now that's funny because that's that's only because you know for the owners I understand that, like you don't do this every day you don't do it all the time you know yeah. so for you this is something that you don't understand because most owners they only have their dog they you know they come in contact with other dogs but they don't really get to experience like training a lot of different dogs but when it comes to a trainer like, a lot of trainers they will tell you this like this dog you know you have to keep practicing. But to me, I don't know what, how, what to say, but I just think it's bizarre. I hear that all the time. I just every, almost every client I go to, they have the same story yeah, with different trainers. Treat, give a treat, click, give a treat. Be, yeah, it's like they learn a method from someone else, and then that's all they know. They're not going for what this dog needs. You know, that's why I try to make sense for what he needs. It's yeah. not just like it's not just Sorry, a, a system that works to train dogs. It's more like shaping that around what he needs. Yeah. So like giving yeah. his history, his breed. Incidents that happen to him, lifestyle changes, all those things are going to impact on how I approach him. And kind of like what I expect, or maybe I have to put a mask on him, maybe I don't have to put a mask on him. Like I know all that by looking at the dog and kind of, you know, starting that history. Yeah, the brother died, we moved from the East Coast to California. Yeah. Was a There's a lot of changes and, you know, and dogs, especially some breeds, but pretty much any dog, when you do a change like that, it can be, even like it can be just a hormonal change when they're growing and they have internal changes to them that, changes how they feel because they are, they are confused they, are, they don't know what's happening or it could be a lifestyle change it could be someone from the house moving out or someone moving in another dog coming in or coming uh, you know leaving the household it, it there's a number of things that can affect on how your dog uh, will react to, you know differently to that to those changes but at the end of the day he needs to learn like almost like relearn how to be okay with other dogs now, you know, he doesn't have the other dog, he moved, he, he's living in another place, um, but it's okay. We just gotta show him that this is okay. Now, this is what we're gonna be doing with every incident, now every um, situation where another dog comes in. Now, let me ask you a question. I think he feels that I get anxiety, give me anxiety too, like you walk around, I'm here, and walk with me, like, see a dog over there, I'm already like, he can't yeah, because you don't because know. I know like, you don't know how to handle it, you don't, you don't know what's going to happen next. So, yeah, so those two things kind of go hand in hand and they make him more anxious. So that's why I want to, we're going to pass by a couple of dogs, we're going to take him for a little walk and see how I handle him. If he continues to be the same way, I'm going to pass him to you. And it, you, just, you have to have that mentality that you know how to handle him. So you have to feel like you're in charge. Because okay. a lot of times the owner, they feel like they're holding the hand of the leash and they're waiting, hoping for the best, you know. I can only show you what to do, you have to continue to practice. Right. I really feel like if you practice good for like a week, very strict, like you know what you're doing, you're confident, you can correct him, I think he will like very fast, like in one week, I, I think he's, he's gonna stop his behavior. <laughs>
egg. But you have to watch his body. Um. So you have to be on top of him. You've seen him, right? He become a monster when you yes. see another dog. Yeah. Tell That was good. Wow. Wow. Well, I'll go dog. still higher, man. <laughs> so you see, like, he, one, he, he wasn't as relaxed as he was shooting. But it was his first time, you know, right. like, one by And there were two dogs, so, and one was a big dog. Now, each time we do that, he naturally becomes more comfortable and more relaxed. So that just means you don't have to correct him as much. <laughs> you know already, right? The deal. Oh, I Yeah, you know already. I didn't, I didn't see yeah, her. You know the deal already. Oh, she's so pretty. Can you believe it, that he's worked with him for 15 minutes? Wow. And he's already like. So much you know nicer. how crazy. You witness, right? Yeah. Saturday. Leave it. Leave it. So, so this is really good for him to just be in that environment. <laughs> Leave it. So, where he's around other dogs, you're learning yes. that, you know, it's okay to be around other dogs. Yeah. So this is actually good. He is, she's, she's a little... Well, she's skittish. She yeah. was she was abused. Wow. And if you see her backside's a little yellow because people who abused her broke something back oh. So, but she's super cute. Yeah, the thing is, after we had her for a year, she was oh, So he was confused. So when they are confused, they think they're supposed to be afraid of them and they think they have to scare them away. But it's just because he doesn't know better. He, like I said, it's something... What's the name? Ariana. That's her name. It's okay. So when she's trying to play, he gets a little bit scared. Kind of like yeah. with my dog. But the more they excited towards him, the more afraid he gets. Aww. So it's your job to just correct him. And then when he gets to this stage, you let him go again. Give him just interaction so that he learns that, you know, it's okay. The right, the right techniques to get his, his attention. I'm gonna bring my dog. Yeah, he's, great. <laughs> he's been here 10 minutes and I'm Jesus. like, Whoa. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, wow. And I tried like four, four total trainings. So many, so much money spent. And then I said, I'm gonna try him. And he will, and he even told me, he said, Listen, if I cannot do it. The, the breathing, it's almost like that's the preparation for it. it's his body reacting. So that kind of happens naturally with him now because he's expecting it. Yeah. So that's why, it, but he also responds really quickly. I just wanted to chew a little tag on the leash and then, you know, to be watching the surroundings to defend you, defend him. Now, if you're correcting him every time, he's going to relax that he doesn't have to do that. So he's not going to be watching around as much to begin with because he was already, the whole time before I corrected him, he was waiting for something to happen. Yeah. You know, he was waiting for this dog to come out so that he can scare them away. That's why he thinks yeah, he's you going. see that now? Because he's so smart that if it's only the last year, Well, so that's what I mean, because he was doing his, he thought he was doing his job of watching around the food. Yeah. And so when they have that mentality, they, 
react before it even happens. You know, he's already so anticipating that, that these dogs are going to come and he has to scare them away. Yeah. The next dog you you guys are practicing. Okay. So see, like now he's a little bit chew. Yeah, do a little correction. Correct him. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if I got the technique already. He's at the crest. He's not barking because he's barking. Can you hold the key? Yeah. 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 No more waking up the whole building. I <laughs> mean. <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> wow. Totally different person. <laughs> yeah. You're the you're the dog yeah. great. Go to places with him because he sees another dog. He does. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Yeah. 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 Wow. You shouldn't have been here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now we have him close to my dog. He has met a few different dogs today. Yeah. Be. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like a dog. Take, take <laughs> what? did you learn about the training session today? Well, let's see. First, I'm shocked. I, I'm telling you, like, I, I should not believe that this is happening. Like, and uh, you say that he's an easy dog. I mean, he's a really easy dog. You know, so he's he, not. <laughs> well, he really he is. It's not today. I mean, he is, I mean, he's amazing because I, I said I tried four trainers before. No success at all, like never ever could be this way standing next to another dog. I mean, it was amazing. Like, first session, and he's already close to other dogs, and we walked through other dogs, and he's like it's a 180 degree difference from the way he was behaving. And uh, I mean, I want to see August again, a couple more sessions because this is just amazing. When was the last time he was close to another dog like that? two years ago <laughs> so what uh, honestly like what do you think of the method because i correct him <laughs> i didn't use treats or anything but what do you feel like what do you how, what do you feel about the, the method that i use listen the method the methods that august use is just amazing let's start this way i'm a kind of like a, i love my dogs and i'm very i'm overprotective too and anything that would be hazard for my dog i would never gonna let to it not anything hazard, it's just a simple technique, easy, does not hurt the dog and calls his attention not to fight another dog. I mean, completely different than everybody else to try, like, give treats, have the click, uh, try to give a treat and a dog coming. No, with August, it's just his technique, just learn to date, pull the leash, dot his back here, done. Like, it's... I, I, I still shocked. I don't know what to say, man. Yeah, no, but he's a good dog. He's just he's confused, you know. Like I said, bringing into consideration uh, the lifestyle changes, anything, the breed, the age, all those things are very important. So that yeah. I know exactly what would work for him. Like it I, was in a situation that when I told TJ that he was gonna be trained by August, TJ thought it was gonna be another waste. Like it because. You're yeah, a lot of people have given up, up. Yeah. you know, that's why I'm trying to film these training sessions to, to give people hope because yeah. he's an older dog, you know, he's not old old, but some people, they think, you know, once they get full grown, they cannot be trained and a lot of people give up. So he would literally be living the way he was living for the rest of his life if he didn't believe that that would be a solution. Uh -huh. So it's very important for people to always have hope and they just have to find the right person to help them. Correct. But there's always a way to solve your dog's problems. Yeah, it's kind of like to summarize this is all goes to say that he's an easy dog, but as I said, I spent a lot of money with trainers before, and I tried four different trainers, no success at all. Very good to how he looks at you for, for guidance when you do that. That's a good boy, sir. Yeah, he's walking really nice. So like, see, and he's really watching your steps. So that's kind of like what you're teaching him to, is that 
he's watching you and he's watching your steps. Good boy. All right, guys, so I just came back from the training sessions that you guys witnessed, and I want to go over what I saw and what I think of the, of the situation so to help you guys understand what, what's going on. Basically, this client has a seven-year-old miniature schnauzer that has developed aggression towards other dogs only in the last couple of years or so after the other family's dog passed away and the owner moved from the East Coast to California and with all the changes, the dog became insecure and, and confused with what was going on, which is very common and very important as a dog trainer to know these things. And with those changes, this dog became insecure and afraid. And as a response to that, he became reactive and aggressive towards other dogs. Now, I was shocked to learn that this owner has tried four different trainers. Four professional dog trainers have come over to try to help him with zero progress. And as you guys see in the video, no games, no gimmicks. This was done in literally a couple of minutes of me holding the leash. I had him responding and I had him not reactive. And I was able to learn that this dog is just very confused and he actually wants to engage with other dogs. He just doesn't know that he can. So he needs someone to show him the proper way. And I am just completely blown away to, to know that professional dog trainers are not able to help a dog like him. And he's a very he's a very easy dog. The owner had a hard time believing me when I was saying this because I work with dogs that are actually more challenging, who will put up a fight, who are more stubborn, who have a stronger personality. And as a dog trainer, they can give me a workout to handle them. This is an easy piece of cake type of dog, but other dog trainers and even the owner don't think so. Now they do, of course, because I'm able to show them they just need the proper techniques to get the dog's attention. I think we made huge progress in one training session. They are able to let the dog interact with other dogs for the first time ever since this issue started to happen a couple of years ago. And now they know what to do. And I'm also coming back to see them in less than a week to continue the training. You got to be very consistent with this type of training, stay on top of it. But as long as the owners believe in the method, they believe that they can get there they can get this this resolved which is what i do as i present a method that is effective and give them that confidence that they can get the dog rehabilitated in a way so now they feel happy and empowered to continue to do the training i'm going to see them again in a few days i'm going to keep you guys posted but i think we are on a path to success here very quick very easy fix just needed the right training and the right method i'll see you guys in the next video